Hello, I'm Matt Kane, and I am the author of The Secret Life of Albert Entwistle. Look at that. It's published by Headline Review. It's out in paperback now. And if you haven't read it, it's about a shy, lonely and unhappy postman in the north of England. He's also secretly gay. He's in the closet. But he wants to turn his life around. He wants to be happy after a series of life crises. And he realises that the only way to do that is to set off in search of the lost love of his life, a man he hasn't seen for nearly 50 years. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but I will say that your twin theme of queer joy and queer resistance are both very well represented. And I will also say that it's been my great queer joy to be published by Hachette, a publisher that is so queer friendly and queer understanding. So have a fantastic Hachette Pride, everyone. Do, if you can, donate to our wonderful charity partner, Tonic Housing, and happy Pride! <laughs> I'm Julie Cohen and my forthcoming novel with Orion is called Summer People. It will be out in hardback in August. Summer People is the passionate love story between two women who are married to other people. And I wrote it at a time when I was coming out of a long marriage and I was exploring what queer relationships and queer joy meant to me. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I am not young. So I think that we explore these relationships and we explore these identities throughout our lives and we never stop discovering more. I'd like to encourage you to donate to Tonic Housing so you can help people like us. Have a great night. Lewis and I'm the author of The Origins of Iris, out now from Hottest Studio in paperback. It's the story of a woman escaping her abusive wife, hiding in a cabin in the mountains and meeting another seemingly better version of herself. It's a story about love, regret, family, hope, the path not taken and who we would be if we made different choices. It also explores domestic violence in an LGBT relationship, an important issue for our community which is often overlooked not taken seriously as in a heterosexual relationship and little explored in fiction. Writing this novel was an expression of queer joy for me. I wrote a character who just happened to be gay and that's the most joyful part. Queer joy is not having to think about being queer. For nobody to bat an eyelid that my daughter has two mums and to know that all the fighting and activism of this and past generations is working. To me, there's nothing more joyful than that. I'm particularly proud to be participating from afar in this event as I work in publishing and I know how important visibility and inclusivity are at the office. I wish groups like the Hachette Pride Network existed when I was coming up in this industry and I'm so pleased those coming in now have that support. Thank you for listening. I'd like to urge you all to donate to Tonic, an amazing community-led charity creating vibrant and inclusive urban LGBT plus affirming com retirement communities where people can share common experiences, find mut mutual support and enjoy their later life.
Pride Network. My name is Claire Lynch and this is my book, Small on Motherhoods. It's out now in paperback with Brazen. I think it's kind of on trend really for tonight because it's a book about um, making a queer family. And in that, I think, is something which is all about resistance and all about joy at the same time. So I hope you have a really good time tonight. Enjoy yourselves. I see that uh, socialising and networking is on the agenda. So, um, I mean, I'm not your mother, but still a glass of water never hurt anybody. Have lots of fun and don't forget, please, to donate some money to Tonic Housing. Take care. Bye. <laughs>